Hello humans, it's me Bone Canoe 86 coming at you from the woods with a um, special annual tradition message for my 14th anniversary, my 14th channel anniversary. So that's pretty cool, right? 2009 to 2023. That is a um, 14 years, as I said. So, unlike other years, I don't have any kind of uh, big uh, plan for this anniversary. It's actually just uh, kind of a chill thing out for a walk in the park. It's April, and it's just now getting very green, which is um, always nice after the five or six months of gray that we get every winter but now it's green so that's nice so what's on my mind for this anniversary well not too much to be honest i can't think of much more to say that i didn't say in uh any of the previous number of years so what the heck we're at 14 years i think that's a uh, a long time I mean, it's not like this channel has really been a, um, an active property for all 14 years. And to be completely with, honest with you, only the first four years or so were really um, what you would call, you know, really uh, relevant <laughs> when I was at least somewhat hooked into the, uh, the culture of YouTube or whatever at the time. So there's that, but... That's all right. It's all it's all good now. It is kind of funny to look back on everything now because like I actually had the thought of what if I were to create a um, basically a history of Bone Community 6, like a deep dive into myself. I mean, who else is going to do it, right? It would have to be me. So, it's a thought I've had. And um, I've actually had this thought for a few years now. I don't know if I'm actually going to do it or not, but I don't know. Maybe I will. Yeah, for the first four years, the channel seemed to be going along okay. And then for the next few years after that, I was kind of like in denial about things because YouTube had changed in such a fundamental way, especially the Let's Playing community. And I wasn't able to adapt to it, so for the next few years after that, I kind of was like in denial about things. And then about 2017 or so, I did what turned out to be the last somewhat serious effort of keeping um, Bone Canoe 86 relevant by finally doing what people used to ask me all the time back in the day to do, which was play The Sims 3. And that didn't really work. I mean, by that point, The Sims 4 had come out and, you know, people had long moved on. Also, I have a theory that it's possible that, like, everyone kind of grew up around the same time who was watching my videos, so they all aged out around the same time. That also might contribute. But at least after that 2017 time period, I was finally able to just say fuck it and accept that, um... Bone Canoe 86 was just like a, um, a, uh, a zombie property, basically, and just do whatever I wanted when I felt like it, and, uh, that was pretty fun, even if, like, no one gave a shit. Like, I would upload videos of playing, like, Fallout New Vegas, which is an awesome video, or awesome game, and each video, like, I wouldn't edit them or anything, I'd just turn on the, turn on the camera and play, and each video would get, like, three views, it was pretty funny. It was like the lower the views got, the funnier it got. So I just kept doing that for a long time. I think I got up to like a hundred episodes or something crazy like that. And then of course, the uh, king of the fuck it phase was when I did the um, Minecraft build one room a day for a year thing, which got up to about 130 or something episodes before I stopped doing it. But yeah, that was, that was funny, because that was me throwing a little tantrum and amusing nobody but myself. But I actually did amuse myself quite a bit by doing that. 
So I'm very happy about that. Now, a long time ago, I said I would explain the reasons why I did that. And I never did that, but right now is as good of a time as any, right? So, I mean, when else am I going to do it? So why not do it now? So, the reason why I did it, as I probably said before, had three layers to it. Three layers, each of increasing importance. The first layer was, I kind of missed what the game was. You know, what Minecraft was in the original days. It was just kind of like this, but spookier, you know? Just yourself, alone, it's quiet. You got this kind of eerie music playing. You've got this, like, huge expanse of terrain where there's, like, nobody. And there's just, like, mysteries to be found. And there's danger. And there's, you know, treasure. There's minerals and trees. And you can build and you can do what you want. It was just, like, this aesthetic of you alone late at night just playing by yourself. And then, like, I felt like the game transformed into this thing where there's all these, like, YouTubers out there who are just, like, highly edited videos that are just, like, stuff bouncing at you all the time. It's, like, flashing in your face, like, wow, zoom, boom, boom, and, you know, every it's screeching and everything, and high production values, and just, like, you know, really insufferable people with, like, stupid hair making, like, all these dumbass videos. And it's just, like... That's not what Minecraft is, or at least not what it was to me. So I wanted to return it to that by making this video series with no commentary whatsoever. Just me playing in complete silence with the sounds of the game. Just doing something completely normal and menial as just making rooms. And, uh... So that's what I did. You have reached the Willamette River. Are you going to cock your wagon and float? Are you going to ford the river? Are you going to pay for some locals to help? I think I'm going to ford the river. That was easy. So the second layer of why I did that was I wanted to express the isolation and loneliness that we were all feeling during the pandemic. Because while that video series might have come out in 2021, it was recorded mostly during the middle of 2020. So it was during the most intense period of, you know, lockdowns and things being shut down and social distancing and it was just a really dismal time in, well, a lot of people's lives, but my life, for sure. Because it was like, you know, the time when friends would, uh, that you would see for many, many years. Like, friends you were just so used to having in your life were suddenly like, like, no, you, you can't come to my house anymore because we have social distancing, we have... A pandemic going on you know is this like, and anything that you used to do for fun and stuff was was cancelled you know it was gone and it was just a very dismal time so I wanted to sort of express that isolation through this let's play so that's what I did although you know I have to say one good thing about what came out of the pandemic era was I sort of rediscovered my love for the outdoors. Like, I've always kind of liked hiking, but I used to just be mainly an indoor cat. Like, I'd see a sunny day and think nothing of it, but now I see a sunny day, and I just want to be out here walking around, clambering over rocks, exploring new places. So, you know, there you go. Something good to come out of a horrible time. And now for the third, and what I consider to be the most important reason for doing that series was I just wanted to throw a big old hissy fit and complain in the form of art about how YouTube had changed over the years. You know, it's like everyone's 
a slave to the algorithm. They always have these videos with like these stupid titles when it used to be Let's Play Blah 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 Part 1, Part 2. But it's like, oh, episodic content doesn't, uh, it doesn't sit well with the algorithm. It's like, fuck you, I'm going to make a series. And every single episode is just going to be a new number, like it was back in the old day. And it's just going to be iterated by one. There's going to be no subtitle. There's going to be no episode title. There's no, not going to be any, you know, catchy thumbnail. It's going to be literally whatever screenshot from the episode happens to be the one that's picked. And so, in that way, I made the ultimate algorithm killing series. Something that would destroy my channel in the algorithm forever, to this day, and probably for the next hundred years, unless they change it somehow. And I did it all to throw a nice little fit. And I gotta say, that fit felt pretty good. It was petty, it was stupid, there wasn't much of a point to it, and nobody but me would get the joke, and that's exactly the way I wanted it. Because, fuck everybody, right? Yeah. You all stood six feet away from me, you closed your doors to me, fuck you. Exactly. Except for you guys. Whoever's watching this is exempt from the fuck you. You're all cool. I guess. So that's the reason I did that series. And I had a great time doing it. And... Yeah, it did. It accomplished exactly what it set out to accomplish. Which was to amuse me and nobody else. I mean, if you liked it too, if you find the joke funny now that I've explained it to you, then you're cool by me. And I'm happy to have you on my little island here. I'm sorry if I'm not looking at the camera too much, just because, you know, I don't. I want to see where I'm going here on this, on this here trail. Although, you know, tripping over a branch and falling flat on my face would be funny. I'd totally leave that in, by the way. I, there's no way I'd edit that out. Are you kidding me? That would be amazing. Any of y'all played GeoGuessr? Send this to somebody who does. See if they can figure out where I am. It is kind of a shame that I um, did not finish that series, just because I did have a vague idea of what I wanted the final product to look like, the final house with 365 rooms. And you saw, like, some, if you watched it, which you didn't, but that's okay. If you saw it, you saw some elements of it coming together. You saw, like, I was making, like, a staircase and I was making like a courtyard and stuff, and I even made like a little moat that was like in the sky, and all that was pretty rad. So, I mean, there's no reason I can't go back to that. You know what would be funny? Is if at some point later on this year, I just went back to that series, and I started up right where I left off, scheduled the videos to be uploaded, starting on whatever day I stopped, plus four, plus three years, so 2040, or the 2024 rather than 2021, and just have the videos going from there until the end of the year. I think that actually would be very hilarious. I think, well, I don't know if you would love it, but I would love it. I am kind of curious to see what my final house would look like. So yeah, my hat got knocked off. Oh, it didn't get knocked off. It got taken and now it's hanging. I'm very tempted just to leave it here, but I won't. So that's my story about that. Now, originally I had an idea where I was going to make a huge, big old video explaining it and it would have like memes popping up and you know, there'd be like vaporwave going on and it would be sort of like me having a performative existential crisis, which would have been awesome. I love having performative existential crises. It's just a great time. But I decided that I didn't feel like, <laughs> I didn't feel like doing the effort. 
which is sad because and that's another thing I don't like about modern YouTube is that like everyone these days has like teams working for them and everyone hires editors and they have managers and they have like you know social media teams and all that shit when it used to be just like a guy wanting to uh, have fun you know but now it's not fun can somebody who's smarter than me tell me what these are? These little flowers here. Very nice. So yeah, that was a fun time making that series. And what's to come now? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I have a little bit of an interest in that new Harry Potter game that came out recently. Hogwarts Legacy or whatever it's called. I totally want to play that. Now, I am uh, somewhat interested in making videos on it. I almost said making content, but I hate this new Zoomer paradigm. I, I make videos. I don't make content. I mean, when I sit down on the toilet, I make content in the toilet. It's like, that can mean anything. No, I made videos, and I still might make videos. And, uh... I don't know. I think that might be fun. I know each video is going to get less than 10 views, but the fun is in making it. So, I might do it regardless of that. Oh, and speaking of which, I'm probably going to get a new computer soon. Uh, my current machine, like me, is out of date and behind the times and is showing its age. So, going to be updating that pretty soon, most likely. Y'all like my new boots? I like my new boots. Pretty cool. Y'all know what I've been thinking about for a while now. You know, video games are kind of dumb, aren't they? So, my uh, storage space is getting filled up, so I'm gonna have to wrap this up here in a moment, but Yes, this has been a lot of fun making this video for you to celebrate my 14 year channel anniversary. You want to hear something funny? I am actually closer to my 50th birthday than I am to the day I started the channel. That's right, I said 50, not 40. I mean, I'm almost at 40. But yeah, pretty cool, isn't it? Or not, I don't know. So yeah, and I hope you liked my explanation of my Minecraft series from two, three years ago. So, and since this video isn't enough things already, let's, why not make it a Q&A also? What the heck? Just ask me any questions that you'd like me to answer, and I'll get to you in the comments. Or maybe I'll make another video, but most likely I'll get you in the comments. We'll see. And, well... It's traditional for me to ask a question to you guys whenever I do one of these. So, I guess, I don't know, just tell me what, what year did you start watching? Or better yet, what year do you have the strongest memories of this channel, of Bone Queen 86? Just tell me that. And tell me anything else you want to tell me. I mean, it's not like I'm going to have too many comments to read. I'll be able to read and respond to them all. So yeah, do that. And that should be good. Well, I want to say thank you to everyone for watching. And now, we're about to get out of here. The sun is about to go down at the park. So we gotta leave before that happens, before the park ranger kicks us out. And although that would make for an interesting video, I'm not that kind of content creator. See you guys.